Oh, that don't press me much. That felt like they are a bit reflective, but what? Ish. No good. Um, no, but I think it's just the sides. Then the, I won't wear them. Yeah. Think of it this way: they didn't go. Shut up. <laughs> Love your brushes. Just talked about it this morning. I said, will you grab me that two-tone brush, the thick one? I think it's from MAC, and she got yours, and I was like, oh, even better. <laughs> Thank you. Even better. Oh, can you guys green screen that out? Oh. <laughs> Scrape Scoop out the litter box. Oh. Scoop out the litter box. The lower back is not. So what's the topic? I want you to look into each other's eyes. Oh my god. What? No, what? I want you to whisper. Look into each other's eyes. What? What? Energy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what, a weird thing. what a weird thing to talk about last one of the day. That is ironic, I feel like. It is. It's like weather. Energy. A girl, are you a woman you, of integrity? A, what I'm did a, she say? A woman I'm a of, woman of integrity, of, intelligence, and something energy. And energy. <laughs> uh, Janet from Another Planet, that one. Talk about energy. <gasps> uh, Trixie Mattel. Hello, darling! Katya! And welcome to uh, the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. Bitch! Okay, okay, okay. End pose, end pose. Uh. Ooh, no one was hurt. Watch, uh, 30 days earlier. Uncensored on WOW Presents Plus. Boost! 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 Jesus Christ, I wasn't not convinced that she had a little fen-fen up in her little go-go juice that like went all stars too. She was always like, like, it was very admirable. She, I don't know how she did it. I'll tell you this about Alyssa Edwards, everyone who's watching. Energy. If you get a chance to meet her, it is such a treat because my God, does she deliver. Mama, you she's gotta exactly meet her. what you imagine. And if you think she's a bitch, she'll be your bitch. If you think she's the diva, she'll be the diva. You know what I mean? Yes. The Southern Belle, she'll do that. She's very all encompassing. If she shows up, if she doesn't show up, she doesn't show up. And that's the energy. <laughs> yeah, yes. And that's the energy. It's fierce. She's never been boring. What kind of energy do you think you have? Dr. Bitchcraft! <laughs> <laughs> We've got weather! I'm losing it. I know. I'm losing it. Uh -huh. It goes from wildly high to it, wildly low. Yes. L uh, high, high tailwinds, gusts, summer storm. I think the great, I think part of touring with you and I was the great daily tug of war of energy. The Who was struggling that day? I'm like, well, I said I was going to drop myself. You're like, well, I said I'd get in the tub and throw it. Toaster it. Yeah. I'm like, well, that seems yeah. more serious. Well, I said I was gonna take out my family as well. Sometimes energy-wise though, sometimes the show would start, we'd be backstage, headphones, like, uh, not headphones, body mics on, yeah. and we'd just have to go. Yeah, it's just not the day for me. <laughs> you have to go out there and you have to lead us. And then I start crying. <laughs> and then we go out there and the one of us who's struggling is like, here's my line. And the other one knowing to compensate is like, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> It's totally. like so hot and crazy. Yeah. You and I as a duo, what we need is like Sandra Bullock and Bird Box, and she's like, it will be hard. Yeah. Yeah. It will be difficult. You don't have a you, first name. Yeah. <laughs> you don't ever open your eyes. Yes. Like we need that. Yeah, we need the cold, hard slap of reality to cool us down. If we had that at Radio City, it could have been a totally different night. They could have said, hey, it's a, it's a really cool venue, but it's old and it's gonna be really hot. Yeah. I'm so sorry. But we're just, just remember, Liza was there and she sweated a gallon. You'll do the same. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Can we not do that again? We like sitting. We like sitting and talking to cameras. As a gay person who's lived, been like, I've been road hard and put away wet. Yeah. What you say? I'm not operating under the normal life expectancy in terms of years of living. No. I'm good now. You're good. Like I'm touring You're wise, I'm done. in your twilight years. If you were say. a family dog, you'd be starting to get those gray eyebrows. Milky, no, milky eyes. He doesn't limp, quite go up the steps anymore. Bumps into the wall, doesn't yep. know where the food is because he can't smell anymore, but Low we energy. love him. Yeah, uh, anal worms. You know that you know that quote from RuPaul that's like, as gay people, we get to choose our family. I'm like, as gay people, we get to choose our level of unemployment. <laughs> But you know, I love alcohol. <laughs> and alcohol was always such a fun, like, I don't know if I want to go out. I'm just feeling a little tired tonight. 
But I know if I go there and get a little drink in me, uh, I will have energy. The promise of a new day. You're converting alcohol to sugar. So your body's also getting a sugar rush. Uh, oh Which my. is why when you go to bed drunk, you often wake up at like 7 a.m. wired. Are you serious? Really? Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. You wake up at 7 a.m., A, have to pee, and B, you're like, why am I so awake even though I'm hungover? Because my body's being impounded oh, with shit. sugar. Oh, that's so wild. Yeah. So many calories. So many calories, girl. Skinny delicious margarita. I do think people who drink vodka Red Bulls are unhinged. Oh, they want it both ways. You want your cake and eat it too. Vodka Red Bulls, multiple vodka Red Bulls. Boop, I'm boop, like, boop. that's like some four local That's like, remember when we drank uh, five Red Bulls one day and then got here. on a plane? It was here and we were flying to Australia. No. We drank three Red Bulls No, each. we weren't flying to Australia. Yeah, we were. Oh my we God. were flying inter. I've never had such a headache in my life. I couldn't believe we it. We were seated next to each other on a plane, pounding headaches. Oh, so throbbing! Like we were. But, but also crazy. irritable. Like yes. like still wired and irritable. Oh, it was like I wanted to get out of my own skin. My, it felt like my brain was three sizes too big for my head. It was horrible. And of course we had. Best content we've ever <laughs> and of course, See, that's the problem. What about people who say, "Oh, Mercury's in retrograde. The energy is all in flux." I think it's funny that, especially in Los Angeles. On one hand, we're like, religion, whatever. But the moon is real. Like, we hate Christians, but Zodiac is in stone. It's, it's, it is it's the, the Rosetta, it's, it's the law. It's the law of physics. I'm, I am tickled particularly by the order of, uh, of importance in terms of cause and effect in one's life. Like, it's not the cocaine. It's not the G or the K. It's gotta be the moon. It's gotta be the moon. <laughs> To be the moon. 100%. Why do I feel so off today? It has to be the moon. Couldn't be my horrible diet, my terrible lifestyle, my bad choices, my um, my like specious like decision making. It's the moon. It's the moon, it's the moon. right? It's the moon. But here's the thing: I know people who are so tuned in and sensitive to these things because they don't do any drugs. They don't stay up late. They eat raw. They eat healthy. Like they are so like Kabbalah spiritual mother people that they, it is credible when they do feel finely tuned in. Yes. But when like flaky faggots in LA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or trying to use yeah. It's so crazy to me. The good news is in LA, when you get a certain amount famous, you become one of those weird, you, you do rehab and like yogi and then you yeah, become yeah, yeah. like. Kabbalah spiritual. I'm gonna eventually become a, if you want to become famous enough, you do have to become a flat out Buddhist in LA at some point. Like you need to at some point past join a monastery. Yeah, past life regression, yes. Sedona retreats. Yeah, Shirley MacLaine. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh, it's exciting to have Paula Abdul on the show today. Um, I really want to talk about uh, straight up. And she's like, I'd really rather talk about my spiritual practice. My turquoise journey. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I want to become that type of energy person. Could you yeah. imagine? Yeah, so I don't want to talk about straight up. I'd rather just read your um, chakras. Yeah, I still dress like a fun pink like doll, but then I show up and we just sit in a circle. We burn yeah. sage and yeah. talk about how if I, there was Jesus, he was an alien. But see, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what else I love? And this really gives me energy. Where? If I'm in drag, and I'm in the passenger seat of a car, and I see a gay person, I have to roll on the window and yell fag. <laughs> I have to, I have to. I roll, 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 roll. Fag! <laughs> and then they turn and they see it's me, and they're like, oh. But I hope but for a second, they're like, well, isn't it horrible if I heard that, I would immediately think it was about me, even if it wasn't. Crying. No, I would, I, would, I would like, it would be triggering. Oh yeah. But Well, they know what? it's about them, and then they turn around, they see Trixie yelling it, and they're like, I think it's like, good luck. <laughs> If Trixie calls you faggot, I bet you Angeline does the same thing. <laughs> faggot, can you plug my meter? That's the difference, and it's Angeline. Yeah. <laughs> can uh, you plug my meter, yeah. faggot? Uh. Plug my meter, faggot. <laughs> that would be her. This is nice. You know, it's all mental, though. Like, days where I don't feel like getting a drag is usually because I spent the night before complaining about how I have to get dragged. Like, oh, I almost set myself up for the mood attitude. I'm gonna be in later. Sure, yeah. If I'm like, that's gonna suck. That early flight's gonna suck. That yeah. gig's gonna suck. You need a psychic jump, like with the cables. You know when your, your car battery runs out, you need somebody to jump your car with the cables? That's what you need. Totally. Cause some gigs especially, you go in like, I just did not feel it today. Mm -hmm. Walk in like a dark cloud, you're gonna muddy up the atmosphere, man. Totally. You I don't think... walk into a party like a bitch. No, well, you try not to. You try not to. Try you not try not to. to. Although, Violet, Violet pulls it off. 
That's cunty though. I saw a clip of Violet with Dita Montes, and Dita's warm. Dita's pouring Violet champagne, and Violet's like, you're not used to serving other people, are you? And I'm like, love that. Violet <laughs> is Violet all the time. I, yeah. It's amazing. You're 50% afraid she'll be mean to you, 50% mm -hmm. hoping for it. <laughs> it's like, I hope she says something cunty to me. I hope you know, she slaps me in the face and spits in my eye. Yeah. Yeah. Violet, you just kind of see yeah. through it. Violet will be like, so, you've been busy. <laughs> That's her making an open conversation. Yeah. So like, so you're successful. <laughs> yeah. You've Against been, all odds. And then to you, she's like, I 100% thought you'd be dead by now. <laughs> she's like, I 100% thought you'd be dead. Yeah. You look, well, you're alive. You yeah, look yeah. good for you. So funny. For me, making sounds helps me level up my energy. What? <laughs> oh, tweet. Um, Erica Jane. Erica Do it again. Jane. Do it. That I feel like is a. Um, <laughs> that's energy. It's like a. Um, a pure source energy. Yes. That's pure source energy. I, it's like I don't have coffee, there's Starbucks around, no caffeine pills. It's like, how do I. Yes. I do I it can. with the yoga. Yeah. I do that and I do it much louder than that. I'll spare you the, the, the horrible do sound. It. Can I do it loudly? Yeah. yeah. Like, it, like way louder. Like I have to get it way loud and it perks me right up. Okay. Especially if I'm in the bathroom with, with the acoustics. <laughs> have you ever heard me do that on tour? Yeah. No. Oh, you haven't? No. Okay, that's good. When I'm uh, DJing or like when I'm playing my guitar and I'm not singing or I don't have to be on the microphone, yeah, I do a lot of like, <laughs> like a lot of like, <laughs> or when I'm running, when I start to really hit that, hit that, that, <laughs> I'll go, <laughs> and I know people hear me. I know I they love do. it. I, I love don't it. care. Mm -hmm. Oh, has great energy. And also, where we where we or I fall short, the editors pick up the slack. They take that fentanyl needle and they just... <laughs> you and I have come in here warmed over corpses, Mama, and they have Pulp Fiction, <laughs> through editing, Pulp Fiction needle yeah. in the chest. <laughs> yeah, and, and then we, we're doing the shimmy shimmy. When I watch again. the episode, I'm like, oh, they cut my rant. About, about how I hate everyone, Katya and Pete. Yeah. <laughs> and they inserted a 45 second clip of me going, ha 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 ha. Totally. This show has good energy. That's why the kids yeah. keep coming back. Could save your life. I like the New York energy though. Like I want to be Sandra Bernhard, not like Shirley MacLaine. I want to be an old disgruntled woman who can't believe Bed Bath & Beyond is going out of business. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. Yes. Like my neighborhood Costco is yes. going under and I'm devastated. And your, the, your neighborhood Instagram. Costco is going out and, and you're going, this is why it's important to support local businesses. Yes. <laughs> on Instagram upside down with the, like a smudgy fingerprint on it. Oh.